here's a sore truth. Other people are going to have opinions that they're going to share with you and you're not going to like them. Hi guys, welcome back to The Six Sexy. Thank you for joining me on another episode. In this week's vlog, I wanna talk about being comfortable in your own skin and why you might not feel comfortable in your own skin. So, funny story, I went for a beach walk the other day. It was a beautiful day, I was feeling super happy and grateful about life and just really content to go for a walk on my own and enjoy the sunshine. So I decided to take out my phone and take a selfie, as you do. And as I took out my phone to take a photo, these fishermen started like kind of looking at me and laughing. And in their opinion, they might've thought I was some silly chick just taking a photo of herself on the beach. And I got really awkward and almost didn't wanna take the photo. And then I thought, hold on a minute. They are literally gutting fish on the beach. like. When I say gutting fish, I literally mean one guy had a fish in his hand and he was literally gutting it in front of me. And I'm thinking to myself, pretty sure me taking a photo is less offensive than that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And guess what? I did it and I felt fine. And it's little things, like little things like that that give me anxiety. Um, it might sound silly to some people, but of course, as someone that hasn't felt comfortable in her own skin for many years and hasn't felt comfortable to be honest and upfront with her friends and her family, um, it's a big step for me, little things like that. So in today's video, I want to tackle some of the big questions in life when it comes to being comfortable in your own skin. And I know, you know, like our generation, 18 to 35, we love to curate perfect lives on the internet. We all do it. We don't wake up in the morning and take a photo in bed with sleep in our eyes without brushing our teeth and post it on social media. If you're like me, you'll get out of bed and have a shower and put your makeup on and then you'll be like, take a photo of you on the weekend. That's just the way society is these days. Where we go wrong with that is being uncomfortable in front of other people in day-to-day -day life. And what I mean by that is not feeling confident enough in your own personality and in your own style and in your own spirit that you can stand in front of another person and be like, this is me, this is who I am. If you don't like it, not my problem. I had this conversation with one of my really close girlfriends the other night and she was saying that she's so happy that she's finally gotten to an age where she just doesn't care enough about other people. And she didn't mean that in a selfish, narcissistic way where you, you know, don't give a shit about others and you can just do whatever you want and go through the world with this blind attitude. What she meant was she's liberated enough to have people around her that she knows is going to support who she is as a person. She doesn't care about other people's toxic opinions. She doesn't care enough, you know, to live her life how others want her to live it. She's just herself and she's okay with that. And I think that is so, so important for any young woman to feel that they can be free and liberated enough to just be themselves. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's an easy task. It definitely doesn't happen overnight, but it is something that comes with age. And I promise you, when you get to your mid twenties, you will definitely understand what I'm saying. My boss said a few months ago, I'll never forget it, he was like, Life just gets so much easier when you get to 30. And I was like, why? And he was saying, because you just don't care anymore. And you know, it's so freeing and liberating and relieving to know that there will, there will get, you'll get to a point in your life where you won't be living your life for other people. You won't be taking on other people's opinions. And by opinions, can we just set the record straight? I'm not talking about you getting a performance review at work and not taking good criticism and good feedback on board and bettering yourself. And I'm also not talking about if you get a really bad grade in your uni assignment and your teacher giving you feedback on how you can improve yourself. There's always gonna be room for improvement. We as human beings, if we stop growing emotionally and mentally, then we're not living our life to our truest potential. So I'm not talking about not taking feedback on. It's always important to um, you know, be open to other people's feedback for us in a constructive way. I'm talking about, you know who those people are in your life who are like, I think you should wear your hair this way. I don't, I think you should wear less makeup. 
I think you should, you know, work at this job instead of that one. And, oh, I don't think that you should be doing creative things in your spare time because it doesn't bring you money. You know who those people are. I have them in my life. I'm sure you do too. And yes, their opinions are hard. Yes, it gets to you sometimes, but you cannot allow it to stop you from being your truest self. And by your truest self, I mean the person that you are uninhibited around the closest people in your life. I used to always have this belief that I had to wear like a thousand different masks to a thousand different people. So I had to be professional Sophia. I have to be partner Sophia. I have to be best friend Sophia. And all these Sophias aren't the same person. It was me trying to cater to everyone else's needs in different situations until I got to a point where it was like really tired of being fake. Let's just see what life gets like when I'm being myself. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that on top of not having to put so much effort into being this person that I wasn't, I actually found that people found my personality and my sense of humor and who I am funny just by me being me. And it was just, it was so liberating to not have to be what everyone else wanted me to be for me to just be myself. This is something that has come with age. I wasn't like this at 19. I certainly wasn't like this even three years ago at 23. It's something that has come with a lot of disappointments from other people and me basically realizing that even if you end up curating what the world wants you to be, they're gonna want more from you anyway. And it's really funny because I was having this chat with my mum the other night And my mum was saying to me, well, Sophia, people say the world hurts you. Who is the world? Like in your head, you're thinking the world is some big bad place. But realistically, the world is all the social connections you have in day-to-day life, whether that's your friends or your family or your workmates, you know, or your yoga class. Like the world is basically the interactions you have day-to-day. And it's not that the world or your social connections are a bad place. It's just that if you continue to let other people dictate how you should feel, you're never going to be living a life that is truly going to make you happy. So my number one tip to feeling comfortable in your own skin is to try to accept yourself as you are. Embrace and accept everything about yourself so that you're not ashamed to share those parts of yourself with friends and family, that you can just be yourself and know that whether someone doesn't like you or not is not gonna affect what you do in your life. And also knowing that at the end of the day, you are the only person you have to answer to. I'm gonna repeat that again. You are the only person who you have to answer to. And to add to that, you are your own responsibility. There ain't no one out there unless you're, you know, unless you've got a sugar daddy stashed away somewhere. No one's paying your bills for you. No one's putting a roof over your head and no one's helping you curate your dreams except you. So the next time you feel uncomfortable in your skin, just tell yourself, is this person going to help me evolve and, you know, live the life that I want to live and dream? Or am I literally just insecure because of a bad thought in my head. So thank you so, so much for coming along today and listening to me. I really wanted to talk about the importance of feeling comfortable in your own skin. I promised you it's not an overnight revelation, but it is something that comes with age. And the more you focus on all the amazing positive things about yourself, the easier it will become to be yourself around others. I love you as always. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you soon. Bye.